Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, Kevy's been having some fun. I'm stubborn and it's a good thing. Uh, now, I've solved my problem with my recording time on GarageBand. So, turns out, well, let me first say I haven't run on Macs at all in like 10 years plus. Okay? And I never ever ran GarageBand in my life uh, until, of course, I bought a Mac this year. I've always been used to Adobe Edition and I could do whatever I damn well pleased, which was nice. So in my little ventures of surfing the internet, um, I started looking for ways to get more recording time out of this program. And I'm running the newest version of GarageBand, which is version 10 point something or other. Anyways, of course, nobody has any information on the internet anywhere, not even on YouTube. Well, now there is. Um, so I've been working on the recording time. As you guys know, I used my PC uh, to help assist in that recording issue problem. And uh, I got up this morning and I thought, you know, there's got to be another way around this. Like, this is Apple stuff, man. They rule. They always have. So I started messing around. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I've discovered. So if you're new to a Mac, you're new to GarageBand, or hey, you've had a Mac for a while and you still haven't figured this one out because you've just been messing with loops, well, here's a solution for you. And uh, it works. So we're going to drag our first clip in. Then we're going to drag another clip. And another. Now, normally in Adobe Edition, I, I could just stretch these clips out. Just one clip and just stretch it until I felt like ending it. And then I could always edit later if I created too long of a clip, right? And of course, multiple clips because I wanted to add in drums. I want to add in this and this, right? So makes for a really interesting tune, right? So just two tracks because we've got a ton of tracks we can use in GarageBand, right? So anyways, there's this little thingy up here that says horizontal zoom. So I thought, okay, well, let's just click and pull it backwards. Oh, look at this. I get more clip space. So we can just keep stacking these clips um, for quite a while, actually. Now, I did a test recording this morning to see if I was right, and turned out I was. By doing this, it does make the clips look really short, although it doesn't affect their playing time. It's all the same time per clip. So when you start to get filled up, Click on that little tab again, bring her back some more, and you just keep going with it, and uh, then you're all good to uh, rock and roll. So there's about 45 worth here. Um, now, well, let me grab my guitar. I also decided to use QuickTime as my screen capture program too for this. Uh, because my OBS program sucks when it comes to doing full screen uh, stuff for some reason or another. I don't know why. But um, anyways, I'm going to try QuickTime Player actually to record my next Minecraft video. Alright, so I want to turn the repeats down a little bit. And I'm going to bring my level down just a little bit too. All right, so let's hit record.
So I stop the end of the clip. Now I can fade this in, fade it out, blah blah blah, do all my editing. Now I can do everything I wanted to do. So I'm extremely happy with this. Like I said, I'm not stupid. I'm also not perfect, which is good as well. Now there are a lot of people that are going to have the same question. How come I can't get more time? How do I get more time? GarageBand help section guys is not very good. Okay, that's one thing Apple kind of lacked in a little bit as far as this part goes uh, Because I, I went through the help section and it really didn't tell me anything like search. Okay more record time, okay? That's what you get, huh? Okay, it's like Okay, let's try this another one how to record longer tracks that's it it sucks for that sort of a question so I thought all right well I'm gonna try this stacking thing and move the little guy up top and keep going with it and see what happens and sure enough I go stack happy I don't know how many stacks I'm gonna have to put in yet to get like you know three and a half to four minutes of record time because it depends on what video I'm going to throw the, the tune into. But I can also throw multiple short tunes in as well if I want to to change it up during the video. Because I want to add in, of course, my music to my RC videos. Not all of them. And I've added a few things in. Uh, before I got the Mac, I was using my PC. And uh, it was working quite well. But I, I wanted more. I needed more. And... Uh, you know, I mean, the Adobe Edition program I have is way out of date. It's like version 1.5, right? And uh, so GarageBand, I mean, it is awesome. It is a awesome program. And I still got another God knows how many updates of um, stuff to put into it. I know I got another 6 gigs of updates I got to up, down, download today and then check again and see if there's any more I'm missing. Um, and the, the amount of sounds and tones in this program is just sick. Um, so, you know, I th figured, I mean, you know, I had this short record time and I was like, man, I get all of this in a crappy record time. Like, what is this stuff? Come on, this is Mac, right? Well, it just took a little bit of, you know, thinking it through and going, okay, I remember doing this before. Let's see if it works here in GarageBand. And uh, sure enough, that's all it is. Because if you look and you search the internet, guys, this is why. Okay, I searched the entire internet everywhere, including YouTube. Nobody had any help on version 10 of GarageBand. Like zero, okay? Absolutely useless, right? Other versions, though. Oh, you just click this and click this. How much does Apple change stuff? Well, not a whole lot often, but apparently in GarageBand 10. Wow, what a difference compared to the other versions. So I thought, okay, let's download an older version, like 605, right? Because that'll give me access to everything I want. So I'll go up to the Apple website, download that, try to install it. Sorry, your OS is too new for this program. Yeah, <laughs> great. Now what? So then that's when I started to think, hmm, well, let's use the PC, try that. Hey, there solves the problem, sort of, you know, not entirely. And then I hooked my Snowball mic into my PC to do free live recording and uh, found a couple little tricks with that too. Worked well, but still not giving me exactly what I want and expect, right? So, uh, of course, nobody else had answers for me. So I thought, all right, let's start stacking clips, man. Let's just stack these things and then move the, th the little thingy and see what happens. And sure enough, that's all I had to do. So Apple took out that little nice little feature to go extended unlimited time, right? Basically, it's unlimited. It's not entirely, but I think it's like 99 hours or something, whatever. But that's more than enough to do one tune, right? So anyway, turns out it's actually all unlimited. You just got to take the time to stack your clips and stack your clips. And you got to stack enough clips to get the amount of time you want. So 
which means before you actually do any recording, you might want to just hit play, run the counter, and see how much time you get, and then see how many more clips you need to stack. And then you do the same thing, of course, with whatever drums you add in, etc., etc., right? You know, because if I want to now add in, you know, other drums and stuff, I can go here and, you know, I can add this in, you know. Now, if I go and I stretch this out, can I stretch it out? There's a good question. I can stretch this out. Okay, so there's boom. So, I mean, I know this is going to sound like crap, but let's just play it anyway. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't sound half bad. So the drum track, I can stretch it out. So that's not bad. That's the 80s backer. Uh, beat two. Hmm, not bad. So it actually works all right. And of course I can find other drums and add in hi-hats and all that other jazz now. So, now we're multi-track recording. Now, the only other thing I have to figure out yet is how to get my vocals in there, right, at the same time. That's going to be interesting. Now, it does say input one and two, but I've got to get a microphone up with this. So i got to figure out how that session works. You know, this is one type of session, but there's others. Anyways, guys... That's what I got for you, um, and uh, it seems to be working, so hey, what the heck, um, and I don't have the restrictions now, so for those of you who are looking for help, there's your answer, voila, there's your, you know, recording time problem solved. Um, it's kind of nice though that I could actually stretch out that drum clip though, um, I thought, why not, let's try it, um, you know, but, because uh, I tried to stretch the road trip clip out. And it lets me go so far, and then you move the, the little tab guy, you know, up in here, you know, to get more, but it wouldn't let me keep stretching it, so I had to actually stack the road trip clip. Uh, the drum clip, you just saw it for yourself, I didn't have to do anything more than stretch it, and it took it right to the full time across, um, and that's probably due to the fact that the window has already been increased, you know, which is fine, whatever works, right, that's the idea. Um, but, um, anyways, so that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching. Um, as I learn more, I will put more information up on GarageBand. Um, but this is what I've got so far, and I'm very happy, and I feel a lot better today now that I can go ahead and go nuts now and start recording some awesome music for you guys to be able to listen to on RC videos and even just a regular video with straight music. I might do some of those down the road who knows but uh really happy now that this is solved because i'm like Ugh! now it's just like i said one more problem and that's the vocals so catch you later guys thanks so much for watching and uh have a good one